Hi ladybugs, I am back for another tutorial and thanks for coming back to watch my channel. Um, this tutorial is an altered envelope that I made, as you can see. On this side there's lots of decoupage going on. And then on this side, I suppose you can look at it anyway, uh, there is a, this is made with fabric and we have two tags. I must do a tutorial with these tags that I made. This is my last one. I don't have any more because I think they're really nice. You don't need to do much to them. But uh, you, of course, if you want to pile stuff on, that's also, that's also good. So this is just another tag, big tag that goes inside this pocket. And as you can see, I've added flowers, charms, buttons, etc, etc. And I added this lace here. And uh, my hubby's just bringing me some Coke in case I have another coughing fit because of the hay fever. And so this has like two pockets, this envelope. So you have a pocket here by the window. And mm, okay, it doesn't want to come out. There we go. An altered index card. Bit of lace again, decoupaging, etc. And another tag for journaling on the back. And then in here, I just put some. I mean, it can take also a big, uh, a long journaling card. So basically, you can put whatever you want in here. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Why is it? Uh, must be glued down there. And I, as I said, I've just got these uh, baggage tags, or no, boarding pass tags. So this is what I'm going to show you today. Um, I really enjoy doing altered envelopes. And this, of course, uh, I did have a page. As, let's pretend. This is a, just a page with another one of my altered envelopes. And this one you would just um, probably use a paper clip in your journal to pin it onto your page like so and you can of course alter that if you want to so I wouldn't glue this down obviously you can't <laughs> because it's done on both sides but these are just more ideas for you guys so I'm just gonna put this aside now I'm not gonna bother putting everything back in place and we are going to start okay that's proving to be difficult but I have to tell you, I did start doing <laughs> this tutorial yesterday. But then, of course, the camera, and I did quite a few tutorials yesterday. And, of course, the camera started beeping at me, and I did not pay attention. And it stopped halfway through. So I'm going to be doing something very similar to this. And it's all decoupage, and I just thought this turned out beautiful. And I haven't done the back yet. <clears throat> so, and there's stamping going on. So, oh, Let's get to it. Of course, <laughs> I've got all my other supplies here. You're not going to believe this. I've got my tattoo cloth. I've got some numbers. I've got this most gorgeous fabric. This is the kind of stuff that I've put in my fab packs. Isn't this gorgeous? This dusky pink. This is what I was going to use on here. And I have some serviettes. Just various serviettes. This has got butterflies, which I may or may not use because you know you never know what you're going to do. I have my brushes. I'm springing all my supplies. These brushes are pretty useless. I did put them in water, but it turned out quite stiff, so I can't use this. So let's just toss them, shall we? Yeah, let's toss that one because it's no use to anybody at this stage. And then I've got some cutouts. So you're just going to need a variety of stuff, whatever is in your stash. I'm going to be using the media, the white gesso, and of course I've got this great big bottle of Atlas Mixed Media, Gel Medium, which I am yet to decant into something smaller and more manageable, but I'll get there. And some music paper and just odds and ends, you should see my pile on the side. It looks like a volcano erupted with a whole lot of stuff. So, since I am 
Can I have to leave you to get me, me an envelope? Can you believe I don't have an envelope here? Really? I don't know what I am these days. Right, I have some envelopes here with the window. We love using these windows. So which one? They're all opened on, of course, the long side. So let's put this aside. Let's put these there so when I'm reaching for stuff, you know what I'm reaching for. So the opening is going to be on the top. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so let's open it along the top. Go. And then I'm going to glue down the side. And let's do it. Like so. And I'm just going to spread it with my finger because I don't want it to go spread too much, if you know what I mean, and shorten my space. So let's do that. So there we have it. So we have the opening there. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this one just to prime the whole thing. So let's just, I've got my water with my decent brush. This is a Heidi Swap brush, three quarter inch. But I mean, you know, just use whatever you got. Don't need to go rushing out and buying stuff. So I do like to dip and paste <laughs> in water, I mean. So let's just prime this whole thing. Use whatever you have, um, whatever primer you have. Well, let's go here. Doesn't matter if you go over your window there. I love all this mixed media stuff. I'm really quite a beginner in doing this. Gotta say, I hope there's not too much light on here. There we go. And this does um, dry quite fast. So let's just put that aside and hope, like anything, I don't spill it. Do not laugh at my broken hair dryer. Just hoping I don't get a shock, so excuse the noise while I just dry this quickly. going to get Joe, my hubby, to fix this <laughs> or buy a new one at the Hobby X tomorrow. One more sleep and then we're going to Hobby X with a friend. Is that great or what? I am hoping to get lots of good bargains. I will show you guys my stash, what I buy from there. Let me put this broken thing right here. There we go. Stay there. So that's primed and ready for use. Now I want to cover this. That's why I've got this um, mixed, this white gesso here to cover. So I want to, I'm going to apply it quite thick because you know we're doing decoupage with like serviettes and stuff. So you don't want to see this underneath that. I don't mind that little orange bit there, that's fine. Let's just have a look. Just to give it a coating. In fact, let's let's just eh. Hang on, I'm gonna just cover this a bit more because now I'll spread it, which is gonna take a little bit longer to dry. There's a ho-ho flying around here. Go away, ho-ho. You're not part of this video. 
you do not have a starring role. So once again, I'm just going to quickly get the dryer, the broken dryer. laughing at the dryer because it's so wonky. So now we can just start and of course it's going to be this way so we, I'm going to work with it this way because I can't tell you how many times I've got it wrong. I just want to check everything's good inside. Yeah. So I'm just going to start decoupaging now. I'm going to use the same serviette Let's put the water on that side and hope to goodness I don't spill it because that is always, that's why I don't like having, you know, liquids around me. Let's put that there. And now just to take off this gorgeous big rose. Okay, you're not working. Come on now. There we go. <clears throat> You just use a little bit of water to tear up your serviette. Here we go. And I'm going to use this great big bottle of gel medium to take a punch this on. So you've got to do the bottom first, obviously, to make it stick. And then you plonk it on anyway. It really doesn't matter which way. And more gel on top. I'm just going to wet my brush a teeny weeny bit. Yeah. We won't worry about those bits because we can either tear them off afterwards and just make sure everything is covered. I like that. I like making it a little bit ruffled so that you know that when you touch it afterwards, it, you've got a bit of texture to it. So, may as well finish using this one, huh? I think I'm gonna take the hydrangeas there. A little bit of blue. Take it off with some water. Tear it off. And let's put some medium here and put it on there. Yeah, well, I like it. Oops, I've done it again, which is fine. You know what? Nobody's going to tell the teacher on me. I am the teacher. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go. And then, oh, where is this envelope? Uh, tissue paper, I mean. I'm, I love this car. But I'm going to do another one, and I love that butterfly. Let's take that butterfly off because I can probably stick it down somewhere too. I'm just going to put that aside and fortunately I do have another Eiffel Tower on here which I just love so I'm going to put it on here I still want to do a French themed journal you know I haven't made a French themed one and I love Paris I've been there I've been fortunate enough to have been there a few times I mean, who doesn't love France huh? There's just I love Europe in fact because I love going to see all the old castles and stuff. I'm fascinated by medieval times and prior. 
Let's just stick you down. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. You know, it all depends on what you like. And it's also best when you're doing this to kind of brush it one way. Gently. And I am trying to go fast. I don't want to bore you. And I think I'm going to take off some more hydrangeas here. I do love hydrangeas. I try to grow them in my garden, but for some reason they just didn't. Oopsie, here's my little. Let's take that off. It really is easy to use water to tear your tissue off. And we just put that down. You don't have to be too fussy how you do it. Just make sure it's all covered with the medium so it sticks down. And then... I think we need another rose there. Well, let's move it. Yeah. I don't know if you can. <laughs> I think I was off camera a bit there, but I mean, it's just, oops, very basic to tear it off with water. I really want to keep this leaf maybe for use it somewhere else because I like to bring in a bit of the green. And I'm just gonna, oh, oh, put, oh, oh. <laughs> did you see where the whole thing has gone in? Oh. You know what? Let's put it here because I don't want to lose my leaf. I think the leaf looks nice. Yeah, it adds a bit of green to it. That'll do. Just a bit of relief from the pink. So let's add. I was going to add it here, wasn't I? It really doesn't matter. You can do it anywhere you want. Put it all up aside. It's okay if it goes over the window a bit. So easy to do this. Don't be afraid to try mixed media stuff. I mean, I, I, I've done decoupage before. I used to teach classes on this. But just and don't be afraid to experiment if this is new to you. There's no rules when it comes to this sort of thing. You just do whatever, you know, blows your hair back. So, where is my butterfly? I think I'm going to put him in the corner here. Yes? Yes, I think he's gorgeous there. And this stuff also dries quite fast. So, um, yeah, I want to do that uh, a bit of stenciling with the mousse. And I think, yeah, we have enough on here. Let's put that away. I'm going to bring out my wonky hair dryer. Just to dry this quickly. By the way, donations gratefully accepted. <laughs> All right. Just start cutting some of this edges off. I mean, you could cut it any time, really. And like so. This might be a bit of a long video, 
because there's quite a lot to be done on here. So settle in, people. I don't know if you're like me, but you know, when I'm working on my stuff, I will have my computer in the background going with a tutorial from somebody else. And I'll glance at it or stop it and fast forward. And sometimes it's like having someone else in the room with you, which I quite like. Just kind of somewhat dry this a little bit more. Okay, and now using my mousse, this gorgeous, oops, nouveau embellishment mousse. use this because I just like it and I have my dirty old stick I suppose I should get a new one but you know what we just use them until I don't want it on the well it doesn't matter if it's on the Eiffel Tower a bit I mean anything goes you know I need to get more mousses this is the only one I have maybe tomorrow <laughs> at the dome I'll be able to get some more mousses in different colors you know I'm really hoping for bargains and you don't need to be finicky and perfect with doing this stuff you know you just plonk it down wet tear plonk it down and don't overthink it And this just adds dimension to your project. Okay, I may as well just fill that one. I'm not going to make mine too thick um, as I did on my, where is it, on here. Because, uh, you know, of time on, on the video and drying time, etc. So I'm just... Uh, Doing this like so. So normally I would make it thicker so it would stand out and give more dimension, but because of drying time on, on the tutorial, I'm repeating myself, aren't I? Mm. Comes with age. Right. Let's just lift that off and I think that looks amazing. Well, let's put that aside. Close up the mousse and out comes my wobbly hairdryer. Normally I would leave this to dry a bit longer, but obviously I can't, I can't, I'm not going to do that now. So what I'm going to do next, let me just see, I did do some cutouts, I'm going to put a bit more, oh my gosh, now I've got to find them, oh they're right chap, they're all right chap. Stuff I've just kind of pre-cut, this, this is going to go on last, let me not lose it, I don't have to hunt for it. Another rose. Um, yeah, why not add some music paper? I'm going to add this here. Let's 
tear that bit and let's just let's just add that oops Yeah, oh, it's too much water on here. Don't put too much water. I'm just gonna. It's really too much up there. Yeah. Do that again. There we go. And I'm just gonna stick this rose in here. So I'm just kind of plunking it down there. I'm not. Put, doing too much planning on this. As you can see, I've got a shroom here. Is he cute or what? I'm gonna put the shroom on top there. Oop, a little bit more in. He's really, really cool. I like him a lot. <laughs> yes. And that's all I'm gonna add now, because I mean, I could keep adding, you can keep adding, but there's no need because you'll see what I do to fill in the rest. Here comes the wonky. stamps I've got them here in my little drawer these are ones that I use quite often so I'm going to use that I'm going to use my postage stamp and that one and I think that's it I don't really need to add much more so I have this finished now um, so what you can see here I've just added some lace I added that flower we made with a button, very simple, and I put that on there. I just, oh, I know I'm, I'm repeating myself again, but I love these colors. And I just added a postcard which I stamped, and I made this very simple tag. Um, I haven't used it up some more, and you'll see why in a second. And like very simple, so journaling can be done on the back. And then I added this baby here. I thought it just uh, looked quite nice. And then, of course, you've seen this part already. And then we have our pockets, and inside this pocket here, I added a little journal, which makes it quite uh, bulky. And that is why I didn't add anything on here. Maybe I will still add something, I don't know. I just put a stamp, which you can barely see. Maybe I'll add a couple more stamps, but keep it flat. And this is just to show you that you can really put anything inside these envelopes. So this is just a little journal I had lying around. So I put that in there. And then of course in here, I have just added another little postcard. I mean, this is just an example of what you can put inside. Now these journal, I mean, these envelopes are quite long for a normal, let me just grab another A4 paper here. This one is dyed with rooibos tea, hence the yellow color. So they are quite long for your journal. Let me put this inside, it just makes it um, bulky. So you can put letters inside, I mean really, whatever you want. I just thought it would be nice to add a journal in here. And this goes in here, I didn't even put a ribbon, I didn't think it needed it. But I do think that needs a little bit extra in this gorgeous. I thought the colors kind of went. Um, so if you don't want it so long, then all you're going to do is cut your envelope. Hang on, I'm just putting this inside. See that journal makes it quite bulky. Or you can just make a journal with less pages. That one was already done. So I just stuck it in here, I cut it, made it narrower to fit in. 
and gee, I'm really messing this up, aren't I? <laughs> okay. So for your normal A5 journal, it is going to stick out, but I think it looks quite nice. But if you don't want that, then you can make it smaller, obviously, and just cut it here at the bottom. Uh, so you still have your window at the top. So you would cut it about if you wanted to fit in the journal there. And then, of course, this is just something you would um, pin in your journal. Let me grab a, one of my rusty pin uh, paper clips, and you can also pimp that up and so you can add that to your journal and there it goes and it's just lovely we'll add it to the back cover um, it depends and like I said when you add a journal inside it does make it a little bit bulky but then just make your journal with less pages maybe four or five pages instead of this one which as you can see has a lot so ladybugs that is my tutorial on this altered envelope and I really love it. Now I have to go and do something on the back of this one. I might even cut it. I don't know. No, I'm not going to cut it because I think it looks great. So just like I said, this is another way to use your envelopes and I really hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment. I'd love to know um, what you think. And um, thanks very much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.